Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the Micro Air Easy Start. So I just laid out all the tools that we may need. These are all the clamps we're going to use. We need a step up drill, drill, clamp meter, multimeter, 12 volt meter. I'm using this wireless meter just to make sure everything has no power. Crimping tools, screwdriver, instructions, and the Micro Air Easy Start. I am going to be using this case. We'll see how that works. I could just mount it straight or use the case. I'm just going to do that to show you guys options. Maybe some of you guys live somewhere that's a lot more rain and you don't trust this one ceiling. You just want some extra protection from rain and snow. We get a lot of wind and storms down here. So I'm going to be mounting it inside this. If you're going to be using a backup generator, just install this. I tried the 9000 to start the 5 ton AC. It did not go good. If you're running anything else like the microwave and this thing needs to start the AC, you're going to have a lot of problem every time. I'm not going to deal with that. I'll spend the extra two, three hundred dollars, install this and do it right the first time. Instead of trying to parallel two generators together. Let's get this install started. Let's be out. Let's go outside to the condenser. Okay, guys, that's what we're going to be installing. Our micro air right here below this panel. So let's get this off. Okay, just drilled my access hole. All right, perfect fit. All right, so we uh, we're gonna start our install. Got the hole drilled right here. Soft starts coming through. First thing you're gonna do is find your harm and connect your red wire to that. Next thing I'm gonna do is to splice my brown wire onto the yellow wire. So you have to unscrew that right here. So we get our yellow wire, we have to cut that We're going to splice it. That's going to go where the brown wire is. We're going to put that into the brown. All right. Now, once you get that brown wire out and you connect it to your the yellow to the brown, now you get the white wire and you put it where that yellow wire was. Now you get your white wire, you connect that right here. All right. Okay, guys, so you got your white wire hooked up. On the right side of the contactor now you got to add this black wire and remove this screw and you're gonna add this one all right so you got your black wire, your red wire on the herm, your yellow wire, that's your compressed wire to the brown. That's it. Everything is connected. We're going to be mounting our soft start right here. I have verified there's nothing on the back side, no coil. You see that? So I'm going to put this like this. Loose that a little bit. Get some more line down here. There you go. Right here. Okay. 
Okay, guys, let me just do a quick overview. So you add your black wire to the black side right here. You take the yellow wire out from here. You connect it to the brown wire. Okay, so you splice them together. Then the white wire goes where the yellow wire was. And the orange wire goes to the herm. My soft start is mounted in a box on the bottom with a clear front. All right, we get a lot of rain here, a lot of storms. I just want a double protection. All right, let's get the top on and do a start. I just connected the uh, with the Bluetooth, and you can see right now live status, live data, status is normal, frequency is 60, live current 20.8, last start peak there it is right here 64.9 learns one total starts one total fourth zero and zero okay so we we have all the information right here guys okay guys so i really recommend that if you are going to use your generator install one of these straightforward straightforward install I think this will end up saving me a lot of headache when I come when it comes to running my generator. No longer do I have to worry about having maximum power to start my AC. So I got the 50 amp install, I got the soft start installed, the transfer switch. Everything's ready. We should be testing all the other generators. I'm going to test the Honda 7000. We're going to be testing the uh, Power Horse 7500. The Duramax 9000, all the other generators, the Predator 9500, they're all going to get their chance seeing which one and how they start the AC with a stop start. Frankly, I don't even think it should be done without technology to help it. Okay, guys, everything's installed. I'm just going to run through the starts and real, real easy install. Nothing crazy. Just turn off your power and follow the instructions. Straightforward. I'm going to close everything up. All right, everything's closed up. You can see the install. I like this case right here. It just gives me double protection and uh, peace of mind. You don't have to do it. You could just leave the microwave outside, but I chose to put it inside there. All right, see the fan came on. Then the compressor came on. Okay, so everything's working right now. I have the Easy Start installed in the case. Absolutely love it. I can't even hear the startups anymore when this thing comes up. It's so quiet and doesn't give that huge jolt when it starts anymore. I mean, you won't see any lights flashing in your house, or I mean, I don't see that, but it just—I'm just saying—you won't—you won't get that huge amp drawer anymore all right guys thanks for watching this quick install if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe to the channel guys thanks for watching and have a nice day bye and if this video helps you remember there's this thanks button if you want to help out the channel just go to the right hit that thanks button and you can donate to the channel guys thanks for watching have a nice day bye